There we go. Ugh. Testing one, two, three. Mike's not accidentally muted like it was yesterday, so there should be sound going out. I don't see any, but I don't hear any either. Is that not working again? Guess not. There we go. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Okay, there, we have sound. I know yesterday I didn't have any commentary and that's why I didn't unmute my mic so I couldn't hear myself. So. Sometimes I watch my stream, sometimes I don't. So as a recap of what, we, uh, as I, what I was pointing out yesterday. Hey, don't be breaking things. my little granddaughter in here in a couple of months she won't be my youngest anymore my youngest daughter is gonna be having another it's gonna be having a little girl she says so I'm gonna have another granddaughter that's gonna be younger I already have a grandson and a granddaughter that's both, that's both gonna be hers I don't see them much but Hey, what you doing? That's mine. No, that's mine. Yeah, well, that's going to die because you unplugged it. Uh, anyway, as I said yesterday that nobody saw, if people... I, they sell these separate they sell these separate now but if you look in the top right hand corner you'll see a, a, a thing that says online story and that's that's where the story mission is that's how you get to it if um, you don't have that it's because you bought them separate I don't know how they function separately if they they might join they might join still but I don't know whether they will or they won't. But that's what I was talking about yesterday if you watched that video. And so if you push L1, it goes to story. That's what story that's what you look that's what the and then you hit X and then story missions will start loading in. If you hook this one back, then this is the online menu. And then you can pick 
these opportunities, crimes, which is your blood missions and um, posse. And then if you have, if you are a member of another posse, sometimes even if you have your own posse, it'll be next door. My posse, I don't know why it's not showing up. And then you can come down here and do, and do these playlists are built in here and they're also in the main menu and stuff so we're gonna go back here to camp and start the game what I, I can't do what what am I doing that um, grandpa's live streaming so he's sending this, he's sending what he, he's playing out to YouTube. See, if you watch the phone, that's me right there. That's what I'm doing right now. Well, oh, the game's got to load first. And then you can watch it if that's what you want to do. That's something separate. Be careful with that. I don't want you breaking my glass. This is a this is a metal desk. Or mostly metal. And if this glass hits it, it might break it. Well not the glass not the desk, the glass will break. And this is this is just glass. Probably should have had a more open um entertainment center table thing but the one I got is kind of enclosed so I have to make sure it's open all the time and have fans to keep my PlayStation cool no they have to stay there to keep my PlayStation from overheating it gets hot yeah very hot I don't know if it gets quite hot enough to cook an egg on but it does get warm and if it gets warm it's starts to not work as well. I try not to trash anything back there. There we are in camp. Probably should have noticed that yesterday when my when that didn't appear. Your bounty is now very high and it will be difficult to lose pursuers. Uh, not that hard. Pretty word it's sticking in the middle of effing nowhere. Probably, I'd say. Huh. Hey, there's a bounty target over here. Uh, uh, we're not too bad, I guess. We're right here. We can go get that bounty target. My bounty as high as it is is probably the hot it's probably the only way I'll get um um any type of a bounty mission done. I know I saw my horse over here somewhere. Oh she's up here. I like the one that um it keeps putting on the, um, okay, the, unless the bounty target disappeared, I'm gonna, uh, it disappeared, it was a temporary thing, ah, we can go over there just for fun and see if we can see it, Those are random, sometimes they're cool, and sometimes they piss me off. Nah, I don't see it anymore. I don't know if this is the exact area it was, but... I kept running into this one that was left on the railroad tracks. Dude was already tied up. All you had to do was pick him up and take him to the police station. Unfortunately, that's not the... That's not the hard part. <laughs> Getting them there is the hard part, more than you think. 
because I'm even tied up. He will still, you know, try to escape. And if you don't hit him when you're supposed to, he will get away. Then you have to chase him. Five feathers sold, huh? Distance traveled by coach or wagon. Looms. It's actually fanned off an ambush. Ten vaults. Let's see, what are these? Ample sold to Harriet. That's probably not going to happen. Desert samples. And wetland samples taken. That's probably not going to happen. Play with band for two minutes. That might happen. Hmm. None of those are going to happen. So I guess it's um. It's like the camp, I mean the um, gang keeps sticking my camp in this area. One day it was over there, next day it was over there, and then it was down by the water. Today it's a little, it's, it's a little this way of the water. And this stupid fog, can't even see shit in the damn fog. You know, it, shit wasn't this foggy back in these days. There's my, um... As I was trying to say yesterday, this um, cougar spawns pretty regularly. If you took the time to, if you took the time to shoot it good, you can actually get a perfect. And a handful of these, you can fill your thing. What's wrong with that? That's well, your buddy. He looks. That's not Woody. That's not Woody. No, that's not Woody. No, that's not Woody. It's not Woody. That's an elf. That's an elf. That's. That looks like one of Santa Claus's elves. Cause that's what it looks like. It's not Woody. Now I've watched the I've watched the Toy Story and I know what Woody looks like and that looks nothing like Woody. Not even a small part. If somebody told her that's Woody, they bumped their heads. That is not Woody. For one thing, Woody doesn't look like an elf. For number two, Woody has a cowboy hat on his head, not on a cowboy outfit, not an elf outfit. And it's not uh, green and red. I think it's a brown color. If I remember correctly. It's been a minute since I've seen the movies, but... I know brown from green. We're gonna go do this and get this out of the way because there's a chance that if the bounty hunters come and I'm not ready to be, not ready to give myself up, that's the only way they're gonna get it paid. See, right now they have it set when you when you get to be a certain level in the game. I think it's above 50, it might, it's somewhere between 50 and 100. 
And then after that, I mean, before that, it would just, if you had it, it would just, it would just, if and you got shot and killed, it would just remove it. It was done. And then once you get above level 50 and to 100, then it would start taking it from your money, if you had the money to take. Oh, that's stupid, damn it. Take over, damn it. Usually I like to hit the right button right off the bat. What? What? You want to watch um, JJ or just you're just giving me my phone back? Strawberry Reservoir. Oh, thank you. by Soldier Creek Dam. Strawberry Reservoir. So it's not gonna be up by Camus anymore. Not that I don't care if people know my name. Uh, name. I only changed the, the name of my channel because um, my friend Drac kept getting confused, so I did that to consolidate things. So I have my Commander Starbuck on as my um, in-game name, as my uh, pro uh, thing on PlayStation. So I changed it to that. It's also my email address. 
on Yahoo. Spelled with two M's though, not one. It's only spelled with one on um, PlayStation Network because I only was able to do one. And of all the letters that I um, removed, that one was one that I figured I could do without. The other ones I didn't figure. But see, am I, so am I done with that challenge? Yep, I guess so. We can leave then. People think that there's no place in this game that's safe. Well, your Moonshine Shack is 100% safe. After you buy it and get it. So once you buy this and, and have it, it's yours. One thing I was talking about yesterday is that there are five of the, you can have five locations in case people are, n are new at this game. You come down here, once you're able to make it, you just come down here to camp. This is where you move your camp around. I don't have the dollar, so I can't move it. But these are the different areas that you can move your camp to. I was talking about that a little bit yesterday, but I didn't show this yesterday. I was showing it on the map. And then, this is if you have a large camp. Usually, you have to have a persistent posse of one to seven members in order to do it. Uh, I can do it if my posse is active. And then you can choose your location. These are the five locations I was talking about yesterday. Oh, here's the grizzly one. It's right there. I don't see it. But it costs 250 bucks to move it. New Austin is right there. And the Heartlands is right there. Tall Trees is right there. And the Bayou is right there. It shows you the area. It doesn't show you where the actual Moonshine Shack is. It just... Looks like it just shows you the overall area. So I guess the Grizzlies one is between Grizzlies West and Grizzlies East. Somewhere in the middle. The thing in the background, New Austin, that's basically the state, I guess you would call it. And uh, Huntstead is just like a county. See, like in New Hanover, New Hanover is that big area, and then you got um, the Heartlands, which is just that little area. And then this is in West Elizabeth, Tall Trees is, and then that's their little thing right there. Hmm, interesting. And this is if you want to invite somebody into your Moonshine Shack. Now, don't get all paranoid if you invite a, another player into your Moonshine Shack. Your weapons are automatically disabled. Like I said, they can't... I mean, they might be able to do that uh, slapping you around and stuff like that, but no weapons and no... Um, and that means all weapons. Knives, ropes, you name it. No tying, no gagging, none of that stuff. So... And people, the only way people can go in, the only way people can go into your moonshine shack, is if you invite them. Like that is, like that dude right there, he's invited me into his moonshine shack. That is the only way to go into somebody's moonshine shack. If you're invited or you're in their posse. Oops, I forgot the posse, but I wasn't thinking about it when I said it. I started saying it. Let me see. What was I gonna do now? Oh yeah, I wanted to check the challenges because I'm trying to figure out why he'd be sending me a challenge. Unless he wants me to help him with his moonshine, but there's nothing that, other than playing with the band or just being nice, but there's no uh, things, so I don't know.
but so those are the only two ways into a moonshine shack is being invited or going in with a posse am I being chased by wolves I guess they disappeared sometimes they despawn And before, you know, when I when I would put put in the description of what was what the game was all about, I started adding the character's name so the people knew what the character's name was because because if you look, it's my PSN name. If you if you look at the little thing above my head, so you don't know what the character's name is. So that was the primary reason for. That was the primary reason for that. So the people will know what the character's name is. I mean, I, I took the time to make the character's name. I figured it would at least show up, but it doesn't. Um, there's only one way you know what the character's name is. And uh, we got to go to the main menu for that. when you see the horse you see the horse's name that's why the horse's name isn't included if the horse's name wasn't included it might be in the description as well but see you don't know the character's name so I put the character's name in the title of the video so the people will know maybe I, I, I sh maybe I should have that's why I said with Although it might be confusing to some because they might think that, oh, he's playing with a girl named Geneva. I mean, uh, Maxine. No, it's, um, the character's name is, is, is Maxine. That's what her name is. The, the character I'm playing who's, who's riding the horse right now. like I said it's not in anything so the only way to know what it is uh, we'll go up here to what's her face first and then while I'm waiting the five minutes we'll do that then we gotta sell five things to Harriet I come to this one because she, cause she always sprays me and, if, and plus I can't get to the I can't get to the one in Logris. If we are not hosed, I'm going to be surprised. I hope you think about that the next time you kill for your meat. Please take a look. Let me see what you. Wow, she didn't spray me. Thank you for the risk you took in getting this. It will add greatly to my studies. You know, mammal comes from rest, the giving power of the mother, the nurturing rest. Let's see, we gotta buy some stuff while we're here. Sedative bullets. Be careful with these. They can be lethal if used on our smallest friends. Save it for our sturdier companions. If only these were in all guns. Note, the impact will kill small creatures. So, use your ammunition carefully. See, the wilderness camp used to have the fast travel built into it, but now it doesn't. You have to get that thing added, but this is where you get it. This sample kit, when you start the naturalist roll, that's what you buy in order to start it. The wilderness camp is what you can buy after, um, and then you buy the, um, the ability to fast travel separately at the fence. These things down here, or if you want to change your change your character into something, you can change it into a boar or a rabbit. One you get when you buy it. I think that's the deer. So you so you so you um transform yourself into a you're tra able to transform yourself into a deer. 
And then, and then I, what, when did I buy? The rabbit's still up there, so. I don't know. I didn't buy the rabbit, right? Uh, that's right, I didn't buy the rabbit, because the rabbit's over in tall trees. And the wild boar, so. I don't know, I'd have to go look at my other character to see which one I bought. I paid the 10 gold and bought one of them. But people say in GT Online you can um, transform yourself into an animal. Well, it's here in Red Dead too. talking about you come down here to player click on player see that's where her name is that's your mug shop when I was also talking about yesterday but nobody probably overheard heard me because the mic was muted and I forgot to unmute it but when you first come into the game for the online at least you're in a police station because you're accused of a crime you did not commit And that's the picture that you take when you first get in the game. And as you can see, my character's name is Maxine. See, the horse is right there. This is also, if you want to change characters, this is where you delete the character. This is where you find out her stats. Wow, my honor is low. Oh well, who cares. She was average. She's fair. Her rank progress her XP, her health, her stamina, her dead eye. This is the one thing that I don't like. This is why people wonder, why don't you like being killed in the game? Well, this is why. If you look under total, if you look under where it says total deaths, you know, I have 3,755. At least a hundred of those, minimally, are from other players. See, I die enough in this game. I don't need help. I don't need their help. I don't need anyone's help. So that's why I don't like it. But the total deaths, that's every time you die in the game, that's where it is. Every time you kill something in the game, it goes up there. See, the story missions, they're separate from the story mode. But see, there is a story lying within the game, and that's it. I've completed 11%. Or at least it's supposed to say 81%. But this is total death. Wow, play, see, uh, see, I won't, how, how have I killed 96 players? I didn't realize I killed that many. Wow. Law killed. <laughs> oh, crap. 2,000, 100, uh, 2,100, 300, that's a lot of law. <laughs> Persistent kill, all oh, pedestrians killed. Wow. Time wanted, six days, two hours, seven minutes, wow. Bodies looted, wow. Total animals killed. What is that? Your animals killed? What the fuck is that? Animals skinned or plucked? Wow, I didn't know this was here. Perfect animals, wow. I've really killed that many perfect animals? Hunting profiles. Oh, hunting profits. That's how much money I've made through the entire game. Wow. That's a lot. 
people think that, well, you're just poor because you're poor. Well, no, look, I've made flipping them all that money right there. So it's like, what is it, 12 hunt? It's like 12... 12,128 bucks and 38 cents fish caught only wow that's kind of low the biggest fish caught wow story mission complete it's supposed to be 11 percent series mission success uh, wow that's bullshit series mission complete 26 What? You buy all of these in your glasses. No. But that's why I don't like being shot and killed. I, I, I die enough in the game. I don't need help from other players. And I actually, it says I've killed 96 players. I don't recall that. But I have been playing for a couple of years. And I won't shoot a player unless the player shot me first. So it's probably players that I've shot or killed either in PvP matches or because they've shot and killed me. But I don't sh or I was bounty hunting and they was the bounty. As a, as a rule, I will not shoot them first. If they start shooting at me, I will shoot back. And if I shot, if they shot and killed me first, then I will turn around and shoot them to collect the bounty. So, but I will never shoot first. And 96, that means I've been killed at least 100 or 200 times by other players. And that's just a rough guess. I don't want to jinx myself, but it's kind of odd I haven't ran into the bounty hunters. Because my bounty's like, what is it? I thought it was a little higher than $74. So another thing, if you've never noticed it about this game, if you look at your player's lips when you're talking on a headset or with a microphone or whatever, her lips move. Basically, whatever comes out of my mouth is coming out of her mouth. Cool, huh? It'd be nice if it came out as her voice. And I would at least know what she sounds like. thing is is that is now that I know that um, I haven't ran into the bounty hunters yet <coughs> the only way to keep that from happening is just to be want is just to be wanted Ooh, goody now the fuzz is coming after us
tried, horse. You're dead. <laughs> They're out of your jurisdiction because they can shoot you fit quicker than you can shoot them. Huh? You know, it's hard to believe if anybody's familiar with this circle here I've actually been wanted the whole time I've been that I've ridden this this train route and yes this train route is separate from the other train route I, that would be nice if they connected them but they never have and I don't know if they're ever going to the most I think they're gonna do is complete that one which they really should do here they come. Wow, there's four of them this time. That's a first. Usually it's only two. Oh, I'm already not wanted anymore! No, not that! These are uh, pedestrians, or the other ones it, it says. Nine times out of ten, if you want to be wanted by the law, you got to shoot one of them. Now you got to wait for them to magically turn into the law. As I said yesterday, um, I was saying um, earlier. So the reason why I don't have, I didn't have a um, commentary yesterday is I forgot to unmute my mic. By the time I realized that, that I had didn't needed to unmute it, it was I was almost done. So it really didn't matter after that. Somewhere around here, up here just a little bit, the train will stop. I think there's supposed to be some sort of a, a secondary stop, which they have ever not made, but the train is made to stop here. So there's supposed to be a station or something right in this area somewhere. So the train always stops here somewhere. I guess they haven't built it yet. But the train will always stop here for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. Not unless it's because it thinks it's hot boxed. That's a train term. In case you're unfamiliar with it, don't know what hot boxing is. Basically, in the old days, which is why they had the cabooses, the the wheels here turn on, on uh, the wheels are metal, and they turn on those uh, tracks, which are also metal. During the summertime, or when it's really hot outside, there, there is a, it has a tendency to get hot. And we're talking fire engine red. That's hot boxing. So when those wheels and those axles underneath us get to be hot and red, then they would have to stop the train to let them cool. Nowadays they have sensors and other things to watch that, and I think they put grease on the tracks in an effort to to keep it down. So that's why it's not as common as it was back in the days of. Um, the train that I be ri riding on. 
can't even see the wheels from here, but but they're they're underneath there somewhere. And that's the only other thing I can think of as to why the train stops. Right there is is because of the hop the possibility that the train could hop box. It's clear until we go back to Armadillo. The train doesn't stop. tracks tell us where we're going. They steer us and make us go where the, thing, where the tracks go. Back in the old days, this would seem like the best way to build a, re uh, build a road. Which is why railroads were, more co were really common, but wagons are just as common. And with the invention of the steam locomotive, We really got around, providing there were tracks to go to there first. Ooh, my first victim. Oh. Yeah, I've had that happen to me a couple of times. Somebody shot me and my foot got stuck in the, um, stir up there and got dragged around. Not in real life, of course. I've only rode a horse a long, long, long time ago. And I don't know if I was ever placed on a horse when I was little or not. I don't recall. makes me wonder how long until he's found. Huh? He's mad. Wonder if he's gonna chase down the train. On foot these trains are impossible to get. If you're on a horse, you can catch it. They don't go that fast. Alexa, what is the outside temperature? That's not very low. Especially when it was 40 something yesterday. Gotta clean this stupid gun again. It's not aiming. See, one thing I was also talking about yesterday was the fact that um, that your gun will auto aim, and the only thing that that other thing keeps it from doing is auto aiming. If they can freestyle him, they can still kill you, but you know, that should be taken out. If you're in that mode, they shouldn't be able to attack you at all. I'm thinking about calling Rockstar up and bitching. 
because I'm getting sick of being griefed. We should be able to play this game without the worry of being shocked and killed by other players. And if they want to shoot and kill something, they should only be allowed to shoot and kill something in PvP matches. I would even have it where the other parts of the mission are, are taken out. And if that ruins the game, well, oh, the griefers have their self, have their own selves to blame for that. Because people like me don't like being shot and killed as we're just going down, as we're just tank, as we're just playing the game. See how it's locked onto those um, prong horns? Yeah, that's what the lock on does. If it doesn't lock on, it won't do that. Also, if your gun's dirty, it won't do it. It won't lock on sometimes either. watch JJ. Well, you know, you can watch JJ on my phone, but <coughs> hey, how about you watch that? That's easier to find. something called kids YouTube and that's what she's watching and I think that's one of the reasons why they got they, you don't have to put age-appropriate tags on your stuff anymore this is the other thing that's irritating about this you know what side of the coin you park right in town. On this side, you park on that side, which it should park you in the same spot regardless. See, we're back in Armadillo now. That's right, run to the law, run to the law, run to the law.
I only sold four? I should, Chris, why I sold five? No, because the one was two, the other one was one, and one. Well, the one would have been two, and the other two would have been one, and one, because that's all I did. I didn't sell all of them, and you always have one. So I'm going to have to go back and sell her one more.
Oh, we have one behind us. Two behind us. Three behind us. Wow. No, oh, we pat they the game won't spawn anymore. I guess we can try to get the desert samples. Uh, we'll get off the train now. I guess we'll have to try to get um, the three desert samples. Welcome. How do you do? You leave something behind? Train left without us. You know, I got two uh, two things where my bounty would be automatically paid off, but I have yet to be able to use them. I tried at the post office twice, probably more than twice. Let's go find us some desert samples.
That's a rabbit. That's not a desert sample. These are though. I don't think it's, I don't think it puts them to sleep. I think it paralyzes them is what it does. Well, there's the three. Who is that? I usually don't stay on here very long because of the bounty of the bounties and I keep getting you know harassed by the bounty hunters This is what I don't understand. This horse can pretty much jump over anything that looks like it's bad. Hello. Hello. Mm. Are you the one who wanted to play the Red Dead with me or Fallout 76 the other day? If you wasn't here in the earlier part of the video, yesterday's video, I forgot to unmute my mic, so that's why there's no commentary in the whole thing. No, I used to play, I used to like playing Red Dead, but you know, it got to be kind of old, because they haven't added any new content, other than those stupid uh, blood missions, but I don't like those blood missions. Let's see. Oh. What bird is that? It's sad that I, I can't switch from my, um, my metal detector to the other thing in a pinch. Well, at least I know Madame Lazar is not out here. She was on either yesterday or the day before's mission. I don't Question, know. Question How do you get gold fast? Doing the challenges, the daily challenges. These things right here, you can get some challenge, you can get some gold really quick by doing some of the PvP matches. But usually, it's usually, usually these daily challenges. So all these, and then getting when you, once you get your streak up towards the end, you know, if you do all seven of these, and you try, if you have the ability to do nine of these of the roll challenges the rest will lock up and you won't be able to do it but once you complete those goals then you get that bonus it says at the bottom so you get point you 0 0.75 gold bars but that that's the fastest ways i know i mean you can do um um some mission some some in game missions stupid bounty hunters You'd think after I got them last time, they'd leave me alone for a little while. They come after me way too much, I think. 
And as I said earlier in the video, see when you're like when you're when you're in the, in the game and you're below 50. I'm not exactly sure between 50 and 100 when it exactly starts. But it's but if you have a bounty and they and the bounty hunters kill you and you're below 50, it, it, it the bounty's got wipes it's wiped out. But if you're above 50 in points and maybe 100, it takes it from you. And then the bounty's wiped out. I try wiped to out. do call to arm but they're too hard for me. A pipe burning. But so that's why I don't have any monies because they keep coming after me and there is also another challenge. Well it's not really a challenge, it's an award you get if you spend time in jail, see so if you let them catch you and take you to jail, I don't know if I I don't know if I still have that option or not. We can see. It still gives me the option to surrender. If not, then I'll just have to keep running. But the only way to you know they're shooting at me, so that so that it's gone. I must have uh, got rid of it, but it gives you one option to, to surrender. When a player comes up to you, it gives you the option to surrender too, but I'm the reason why I don't surrender when another player comes against me is because I like to see where I ended up. Sometimes when they take me, I wind up in BFE and I don't even know how I got there. Because sometimes they take you to the bounty wagon. Not their bounty wagon, the general bounty wagon. When you do bounties, you have, usually you can either take the person to a jail or a bounty wagon. Let's see, what do I need? I need, uh, oh yeah, something for my horse. Horse is running out of gas. So is this you? Tombstone 956? Stupid bounty hunters? I mean, I might have gave myself up, but it's too late now. Like we have a bounty hunter behind us. No. Oh, I didn't see that before. So this isn't you? Well then who's this? Oops. Oh good, it's that now. This is my horse up here. What you doing? I only turned it down because I, I'm doing a video and I don't want it to be um, demonetized because of that.
probably gonna have to kill him anyway. over here so oh good it's over here by Harriet okay she should now appear now watch I'm gonna get sprayed because I killed it like five or six animals since I There, there's my five. Okay, let's see here. So there's my five animals to, to Harriet. Shit, what was I gonna do now? Oh yeah, I wanted to buy some more ammo while I have the money before I get hunted again by the stupid bounty hunters. See, I deliberately don't have any money. I went and bought a bunch of stuff just so I wouldn't have any money. Okay, I oh I I bought everything down to two cents. But like I was saying, as long as you stay under 100, I mean like under 50, somewhere between 50 and 100, uh, where'd she go? Peyton, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I know I don't have a cat. Oh, you're over there? Well, I just wanted to make sure I knew where you was, because, oh, you're over there. I didn't see you under there. Was she trying to hide? Don't worry. Okay. No big deal. I just wanted to see where you was. Cause... So what's I going to do now? Oh, that's his horse. My horse doesn't have a horn on its head. Uh, I don't have a lot of a mo I don't have a lot of a moat, so I got a I I don't really use them a lot. So Let's see R2. So I can shake my head, wave, I can do a drunken dance. See? Uh, that's that or shake or or wave or stuff like that. I'm really not big on emotes. I probably have some more, but see what was the outside they're gonna do. So I did that challenge. Oh, see how many more vaults do I gotta do? Oh, I didn't pick no desert sage. Looks like we gotta either go. Spin our what? Spin my. Oh, I get one more to do. We gotta go find something to jump. Got one more vault to do. Let's go find something to jump. Here. Is that a rock? You were supposed to jump over it, dumb horse. I don't know what button you. Oh, there it is. Let's go find something to jump over. That's not too bad. I don't know. Let me see. Let's try that. No, it didn't work. Damn it. I only have one more thing to jump over. Damn it. That didn't work. We gotta get going. We gotta get running faster. Ouch. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work. 
Damn it. Then my horse is probably still over there, probably dying. Wow, that was interesting. Well, there's a lot of stuff out in Armadillo to jump over, and I've jumped over a lot of stuff, but now I can't find nothing here. Here, jump over that rock. Oh, good, that was good. I'll, I'll take that one. It's kind of crappy, but oh well, I'll take it. So our next challenge that we were gonna do. Okay, so it says distance traveled by coach or wagon. So we got two choices, I guess. We'll go over here to the road. And we'll spawn the hunting wagon. It doesn't say which wagon, so we could either do this or steal a wagon from somebody. Oops, wrong switch. We could do the bounty wagon, but I don't know if I like driving around in the bounty wagon. So here, we'll, we'll spawn this. Now we'll go drive this. There we go, distance. Now we just travel until we've done 5280. See, people say that people never use these wagons. And that some, I've even seen some YouTubers say not to buy these wagons. But see, I use it as much as I do. And um, my bounty wagon, whether I have it or not, it, it's there. And I just don't do bounties a lot. I did them a lot to get, to get the level, to get leveled up. Because in addition to your main level, each one of your things, uh, you you level up to 20. Once it's to 20, it, it doesn't need to go high any, except for the bounty. If you get prestigious bounty, you go up to 30. And um, you see, what's the other one that goes up high? I'm not sure. But so, but you have a choice. You can you can use this you can do this wagon you can do your bounty wagon you can do a trader delivery or you can do a moonshine delivery because all of those are wagons that you drive so basically it's driving a wagon it's it's a general wagon delivery sometimes you'll get a bounty i mean not a bounty i mean but a um one with the trader where you have to drive that wagon a certain distance and sometimes you'll get it with the moonshiner but since how this is a general challenge this is a general thing I hate this water I always sometimes I always bust moonshine bottles going across this So Tombstone, are you the one that's uh, watching me on my YouTube channel? Is that a yes? I was watching my own YouTube channel, but my granddaughter ran off with my um. Not again. Oh, this is a player. I don't care. I don't really care about my bounty anymore, but So where is he? As long as he doesn't shoot at us, we won't shoot back. 
so I don't care if he takes me to jail or that way I won't have a stupid bounty anymore so where is he I oh he's down here by Thieves Landing if you hurry dude I'll wait for you but you can't shoot me I'm the one whose bounty you just accepted um you, I you're you're yeah, that's not where I am keep going that keep going keep going I'm waiting right above you if you carry up you gotta cross that water cuz I don't care you know it just will just get rid of the bounty and I won't have to worry about the stupid bounty hunters anymore I don't have the money to pay for it Hey, I'm surrendering, butthead. Don't shoot. Is this his dead horse? And I had nothing to do with that, butthead. But if you're going to shoot me, I'm going to shoot back. And I know you can hear me, because my thing does that. But I was surrendering. You don't, you don't kill somebody who's surrendering. But if you're gonna shoot me, I'm gonna shoot back. And it wasn't me who shot you, it's this other person that's with me. Oh well. See, there he is right across the water. I was giving myself up, but it wasn't my fault this other dude starts shooting at him and I didn't and I didn't shoot nothing. But he's like right across the water, but I'm not gonna sit there and let him shoot me either. Because see, the only way right now where I can get rid of my bounty is if he takes me to jail. Otherwise the bounty goes nowhere. See I don't have no money, so the money so the only way the bounty would go uh, go go away is if um is if um is if I had money and I don't have any money. I only have a lousy two cents, so only two cents will be taken off the bounty amount. Well, the good thing is, is that in less than a in about a minute, I won't, it this has a cooldown, so I won't have to worry about another player bounty for at least ten minutes minimal. Beyond that, I don't know. give myself up. Oh well. Not a big deal. Did you want to ride on the wagon or something? Who's got a bounty now? Um, let's see.
probably that butt head. You know, I have the bounty hunter too, and the prestigious bounty hunter. Plus, mine's maxed all the way out. See, to find that out, you come down here where it says progress. You click on progress. You come to here where it says rolls. Click on rolls. There you go. Prestigious bounty hunter, 30. Naturalist, 20. That's as high as it goes. Moonshiner, 20. Trader, 20. Collector, 20. That's the ranks I was talking about. So in addition to your main rank, you get that rank. See, and here's your unlocked ranks. This is your regular rank that you get. You unlock stuff. See, the last one that you unlock... How come it's not... Oh, there it goes. See, he's 100. After 100, see, you, un you unlock all the ranks. There's nothing past 100. So keep if you keep going. Here's the story missions. I'm at 88%. The awards is the one thing I was talking about. You come over here to crimes. This is the kind of the one I've been trying to get. See, so spent time in jail. I already earned the buckle, but you can reset this thing five, uh, ten times. And I've only reset it twice, so I got eight more times to go. And then if you spend time in jail, you get this a buckle. And once you've evaded the law a hundred times, oh, bounty hunters, never mind. Bounty hunters. I've reset it once. This one cannot be resetted again because it's only ten. This one is lost times wanted your, your wanted level. And then lasso and hog type enemies from horseback I says I have none there's oh, that's bullshit I've lassoed a lot more than than none from there that see it's, it's not giving me credit for what I for what I did but that's what you, that's where it is see so in PlayStation you, you push you push um what's with the oh where is he it says it's showing us where he is. Is that the dude that we were that was hunting us? Now we're hunting him. It shows that he's over here somewhere. It's showing that he's over here somewhere. Oh, so he's to the side of us. I didn't know it activated. Oh, here he is, right here. Yeah, he's over there by Quaker Cove. Over by the N and the S. I think that was the butthead that was coming after me. See, he has a bounty himself. <clears throat> Just not as high as me. See, I have Bounty Hunter too, see? I can come after you now if I want. He's just sitting over there. wonder if he's giving himself up. Well, Let's see, what's I gonna do? I got, I gotta despawn the wagon. I can run away from it, but it's faster just to despawn it. Now I can call my horse. I only have to get him in two minutes. I don't necessarily have to arrest him in two minutes. What is this? Ah, uh, we won't make it. Not in 49 seconds. Especially if he puts up a fight. If he gives himself up, you know, that's one thing. But The one good thing about ta being taken to jail is you, you, you start working on that award. But number two is it doesn't take any money from you if you're high enough if you're arrested if you're shot and killed then it does looks like he's down here yeah. we're not gonna make it and then he's shooting at us
must be up here on this mountain. Oh, he's... He's, um... Still alive. It says that he was dead. I thought he was dead. Hold on. Well, get on the bright side, dude. We take you to the prison wagon. You won't have a bounty no more. And it wouldn't, doesn't cost you nothing to go to jail. Unless you want to bribe your way out, then you can still only pay the, um, the, the amount that you would pay as far as the bounties go, the lower amount. Why is it showing that we go clear over that way, but the bounty wagon is showing clear over here? Yes, I know that little trick. See, I never do that. I don't try to escape. I ride on the back of the horse only to see where I'm going. Why is it taking us clear over here to the stupid wagon? See, if you stop struggling, I can stop doing that. But I know how that works. If I don't hit you, you'll escape. Looks like we're being harassed by wolves. Why is it clear over here in buttfuck Egypt? Good grief. Gee, I would have given myself up, see, and then you would have had 70 $74 minimal in your pocket, but no. You wanted to play hardball. <laughs> this one will crash. Blubbering and hollering for mama all the way home. It's yours. That's your due. Because if you bring a, a player in alive, you get more money. See, I got uh, points. Wow, six dollars. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself now. Wow, the um, tarot card is here. see let's go out back and see if the diggable is out back okay what about them this you had a bounty we came after you for the bounty hunter So your your player had a bounty and we came and got you for the bounty. Player bounties can come after pl other players for bounties as little as 5 cents if they want if they want. Not that they would want to, I think that's stupid. Well, the alcohol bottle wasn't there. Oh. I don't know if it's just me, or, or I didn't ask, or I didn't accidentally come down here, but you know, I have yet to see Mount Lazar out here in tall trees. I, I come here like every day where she's supposed to be and she's never here. I've been doing that all week, except for I, I missed one day, but I didn't think she'd be here. But if she's not, that, if she's not here by this tree, she's not gonna be here in tall trees. 
this tall trees basically ends like right here this is the I'm standing right now on the marker if you look on on the map it's more visible but that's where it is in the game if you look for it so now we're not longer in tall trees we're in here so oof. I don't know maybe that wasn't the player that I was maybe that wasn't the player that um, was trying to get me for my bounty Let's see if it wasn't her or, then who was it I don't know who it was, but if that other person could hear me, I was going to give myself up. You didn't need to shoot. And um, this other player with me, you know, he's if he shots, it's not my not my doing. He's not even we're not even posseed up. I mean, I could I could I could I could uh, put activate the posse, but I haven't yet because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be playing this game because I'm going to be going and playing Fallout 76 in a few minutes. I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's any collectibles. And Beecher's Hope here, which is where we're standing right now, is a major area for uh, for uh, collectibles. Because up here by this tree, there is a collectible sometimes when it's here. But you have to have um, the metal detector to, to be able to find it. Then if you come down here to this broken wagon, one of these two broken wagons here, there's one either by this wagon or the other wagon that's broken right here. Then if you're lucky, if it's here, there'll be a lockbox just inside the door and to the left, but it's not there today. But it's because I could see it if it was. And or is the, or is, or there's a ter can be a tarot card over there on that table. If the tarot card's not there on the table, then the tarot card could be here in the outhouse. Looks like it's not here because I'm in dead eye and I can't see it. That's why I come up here. If I see it, I get off my horse. If it's not there, I don't. And then there's uh, two broken wagons over here. This broken wagon and this one that's over here. There can be a um, tarot card by either of these spots, and if that terror and if, the, if that dig diggable isn't there, and you need the metal detector for those four, there's one over here by this rock. Looks like the one by the rock. Looks like the one by the rock is here though. It's oh there it is right there. See there it is. See, there's the, the one diggable that is here. So, those ones right there are the ones that can be here. Wow, it's a, um, a necklace. Wow, and I didn't know that was a challenge. So, uh, let's see, what other diggables can we find? We need to find one more with a metal detector. So, let's see here. So, we'll go over here to... We'll go over here. And there is sometime one by this. It's not blinking, so no. And then as I said the other day, but probably nobody heard me, down here in um, Quaker Cove, if I'm even saying that right, that's how I always pronounce it. If there's a different way to pronounce it, um, I'm, um, I guess you could use it. But the Quaker Cove is this little area down here. It's a little fishing village down here on the coast. I have... Um, um, Moonshine deliveries down here and a few other things. Sometimes there'll be a diggable right here by this tree, but if you but if it's there you'll be able to see it. There'll be a terror card there, there can be a terror card 
out here somewhere. It varies as to where it is. Or there can be an alcohol bottle, but you know, every time I come looking for the stupid alcohol bottle, it's never here. But if it's here, it'll be in here, I think. I don't see it. It's not there then today. Hey, the tarot card's here, though. So it's inside today. See, this is one of a half a dozen spots it can be. It can be in there. It can be out there. It can be over there, and it can be over there. Oh, one of the diggables, though, that can be here, that isn't, may or may not be here, is over here on this island. And there's a couple that can be over here on this island. Either the diggable can be over here on this island. You need the metal detector to find it. Sometimes there's bird eggs. If you use your dead eye, you'll be able to see that golden shower that you see whenever I use. That's what I, that, that's what you see me using is that is the dead eye ability. Once you equip it, then that little circle with the X in the middle, that's it. And as you shoot, then that circle gets more and more around, which means you have more of the ability. Because when you start out, you'll probably have a quarter of that circle. The core itself, or as you hear people say cores, the heart in the center, that's your health core. The circle is your actual health. And the more circly that is, the more you have. Sean McGuire, he's one of the he's one of the people you can go get missions from. I think you can get gold from them too if you do, if um, the person who's listening is still um, getting gold by doing those those missions. He's one of a half a dozen things. I don't think I can do any missions for him because um, my bounty's too high. But yeah, him. Let's see, you could do one for him. Um, I know he's one. That's Gus. Um, there's a dude up here somewhere. Uh, they're around, but you run into them, they, you, you get missions. Sean McGuire has two locations. You can either find him here, or he's at a house over here in Tall Trees. I think it's this one right here. So he can be here. So I guess we'll go up here and check the windmill. Looks like the looks like it's here. The trick to it is, is you want to come through here so you keep your metal detector in your hands. Because if you come through and you lose your metal detector, then you have to get your metal detector back out in order to find it. I found a nickel. See, and there's another challenge. See, and the higher, and, and the higher, and the longer your street goes, the more money you get. But then, you know, in 30 days or 28 days, it resets, and then that starts all over again. They used to have it where it didn't ever reset, but they changed that along with dropping the mounts down because we used to get twice as much gold as we do now. It was lower before. It, and sometimes if that coin isn't there, then it's down here by this rock, I think. Is this the rock? It won't, it probably, they're never here at the same time, but it's by this rock if it's here. I guess it is here. 
Wow, that's a that's a trip. I've never been here both at the same time. But it's here by this rock. I, I, it's been a minute. Is it on this side of the rock or the other side of the rock? Looks like it is here, though. Oh, there it is. I guess they were both here today at the same day. Were they? That's a trip. They usually aren't. See, so, and that was an arrowhead, not a coin. But you found it with your um, metal detector, so both work. See, and the other thing that you can tell this rock is, is that there's a couple of prairie poppies by it. So, this rock by this tree. And sometimes there's a camp there. Sometimes my camp's even been there. I think that's how I found this spot the first time. No, maybe not. I had my metal detector when I, when I went by here. Because I, I leave it out. So, I, was, so I, was, I, I went by there, checked there. That wasn't there. And then I was heading in this area and it started going off. So I, um, that's how I found that one. Uh, like I said in my earlier thing, there is something called the RDO map, which stands for Red, Let Red Dead Online Map. And it sh pretty much shows you everything. There, uh, the main map shows you everything, even collectibles. But there is a map that's specific for co collect collectibles only. And there is no affiliation between me or them, or them and Rockstar, so... So if something doesn't show up on the map, it's because Rockstar, you know, doesn't like their their outfit. So, but if you get a chance, if you use it, I would recommend that you um, um be nice and uh, give them a donation. If they do accept donations, I think. And so if you use it, I would recommend you to give it donations. Like I said, there's no affiliation between them and Rockstar. Wow, this is here. See, and this is the golden shower that I said. See, if you're using Deadeye, you can see it. And you don't need a metal detector or anything else. It's the hairbrush. The ebony hairbrush. It's just a family heirloom. And it can be on this house, that house, or even at even in the saloon. That's why you see me ch going by really close and using my dead eye so I because then I can see it. Uh, it, it didn't, sh it's probably not here. But in this chest, there can be a comb. And if you have never watched my videos before, you will hear me use a lot of phrases like consumable. Now a consumable item, providing another player didn't get it. Some, some consumables other players can't get. But consumables um, are always here. Regardless of um, of the day of the week it is. Collectibles, they vary from day to day. They might be here one day and not the next. Sometimes they average from day to day as to when exactly they're here. But this jewelry I just picked up out of this drawer, this is a consumable. So it's always here. If it's not here, it's because somebody already got it. So you can either switch servers to a server where it, where it might be here, or wait until it respawns, and I don't know how often that is. And I think at least once a day, and that's in-game day, not, you know, normal. But consumable... Consumable collections and collectors are separate. These ones you sell at the fence. The other ones you can only sell the Madame Lazar.
I don't know where that other player went. See, I'm live streaming, so I'm going to have to wait until I at least switch to another game to accept his friend request. And that other one I think I got. But if, uh, um, you're one of the players that want, that wants to play, um, it's never played Fallout 76. When I play Fallout 76, you're going to want to come play, because that game is, isn't hard, but it is complicated, and, you know, it is better with somebody who actually has done things in the game, and it, but it's not too hard to figure out. And I come up here because there's a tarot card sometimes that appears right here. But then what a tarot card can appear over there on that building over there. It's not there today though. The cool thing about it when it's up here is there's two of them if they're if if it's up here. It can also appear right here. There it is. And a lot of this stuff I'm doing from memory. I've I've been playing this game o over the last couple of years, which is why I'm as high as I am. I don't you know like I don't play it a lot sometimes, but I play it at least long enough to get my challenges done. Though, uh, looks like we got another diggable here on the beach. This one's here every once in a while too. It's here. Sometimes it's over on the other side, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe we'll give ourselves up this time. Because I'm getting sick of that. Now this is where you sit in jail. See, if you bribe, you can, you do have the option if you have the money to bribe yourself out of jail. But since I don't have 38 bucks and 56 cents, I can't do that. But as the longer you sit in jail, the, the more that goes down. It averages about five minutes, not a big deal. We must be in black water, because that kind of looks like black water. You know, it's funny that, um, you know, the same bad things that we did to get in jail, normal people do them and they get hung. And 38, 56, that's half your total bounty. Five minutes in jail. Wow. Now I don't have a bounty anymore, and um, I don't have to worry about the stupid bounty hunters coming after me every 20 minutes. This isn't my horse. Whose horse is this? Where'd these two horses come from? Oh, mine's over here. See, now I don't have a bounty anymore. The difference is, is that um, a player didn't collect it. You know, see, the player gets the money. But, you know, just so that you know, 
players, you know, they don't need to shoot and kill you. She's sleeping. Yeah, my granddaughter decided to take a nap in my room. Her mom just came in to look to check up on her. <sighs> Great, good to see you. So let's see here. What other things? Oh yeah, I don't have the money, so I I guess I could go do that then. Because I don't have the money, but I don't have to worry about the money anymore, so. What's this to be? We're gonna sell off. I need 50 bucks. We'll sell all this off. Deal. This. Okay. Oh yeah, we still gotta sell off feathers. Lucky this is popular. How common it is. This will only do 18 bucks. Done. Another 18 bucks. Deal. Dime a dozen these days. Another 18 bucks. Thank you for your cup. What you doing? She's been sleeping there for like five, like like over a half an hour or an hour. So she didn't just take it now. I think she's been there like sitting there for like for the last hour or so. As you wish, sir. But it can be made to be cheaper, huh? Yes, this is a good flavor. Now, all it needs is some time. Ah, hello! Now that that's made, I don't, I don't know how long it'll take. Now we should have strong moonshine in here. Let me see what it is. Now it's strong moonshine. Yeah. Not that that's a challenge, but if you don't have any my mm -hmm. moonshine made, it'll be weak.
The only time it's strong is if you make strong moonshine and you either have a delivery, either have it being in the process of being made or waiting to be delivered. Otherwise it's weak moonshine. There's a challenge once in a while for that. I don't know how long I've actually been streaming for, so I know she's been asleep for at least an hour. And she laid down like an hour ago. And I thought she was, you know, hiding over there behind my desk, but but apparently she was over there sleeping the whole time. Well, she probably went to sleep within the last five minutes. Let's see. So, it doesn't say. Yeah, they're too hard for me too. That's why I don't do the call, uh, call to arms. It's a bunch of other ones that are too hard too. So I've been streaming for at least two hours. So, so she's been asleep for at least an hour, give or take. Alexa, what time is it? Seven oh nine, yeah. Yeah, she's been asleep for at least an hour. Hmm. So I don't have time I'm not gonna wait until I um till I do that. So I did three general challenges. I did the, that one, the feathers, not doing that one. Not doing that one, not doing that one. Okay, so we'll see, let's go down to the naturalist. I can probably go do this one now if I wanted, I suppose. Um, I have to wait to do that one. See, there's the delivery wagon one I said was, was available. See, I could have done that one, but it would and it would have counted for the other one, but I didn't. But, but I can do those ones later if I want. But, um... I'm pretty much done for now. Hmm. Wonder if that's why that player left. I don't know. But let's see if he's still in the player's list. Yeah, he's still here. Why is he red? Still? Uh, so he's 277, wow. But, you know, when, once you get to 100, there's no, there's no big, there's no real big rewards after 100. So when you get to, a, after you get to 100, you know, it's not a big thing after that. So this player right here, they're at 100, so, you know, there's probably no big incentive to go beyond that. So I'm going to end this stream now because i got to go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to do a 70 falls, 76. Those other two players want to join me, be my guests. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to be streamed. I guess we'll see. But it will be a few minutes while I go to the bathroom and, um, and um, stuff. So, And if I decide to stream tomorrow, it'll be around the same time as something I might do the rest of the week so if I'm awake around 4 it'll start at 4 if I'm not it won't start till 5 or whenever I wake up it could start as early as 3 this is just something I'm doing this week to see if what happens so uh, if you if uh, you um, want to play 76 for me uh, get ready and um, I'll be there in about 5 to 10 minutes and everybody else if I decide to stream it we'll see you in that video if not we'll see you tomorrow around 4
already. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe. The subscriptions cost you absolutely nothing, and all it does is help out the channel. And if you like a video, like it. I mean, it's, it's just helps, you know, YouTube see that, you know, that my videos are worth promoting. Although I do think there are, if there is any, um, uh, what do you call it, um, commercials in it, I don't get any profit from that until I at least have a thousand subscribers. So, uh, and I only have, like, I don't even have 30 yet. So it's, it's going to be a while. Unless I get a bunch of subscribers, which is one of the reasons why I'm, I might start streaming y this every day just to see if I can, because my one friend, he, he got like 500, so maybe I'll get that. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.